Welcome to Math Vortex. My name is Max. My name is Michael. My name is Anna. And my name is Addie. We are second graders at Bright School, but we did third grade math this year. We invented Math Vortex for students in survey and up. It covers a wide variety of elementary school math topics. Michael and I started the project by each coming up with a game idea. Then we compared our plans and made a final game idea that used things from each plan. Anna and I joined them to help make the game. Everyone helped by writing questions, making cards, creating the playing pieces, and making the game board. Then we tested the game by playing it with different people. We improved the game as we went along. In Math Vertex, you travel around the outside spaces by rolling one die. Each space on the outer ring decides what action you take. The inside track of the board has numbered circles called levels. You move a colored disc to, from level to level based on different cards. You win by getting to 100. Let's take a closer look at the board. First here are their playing pieces on their element spaces. The bow has water as its element. The car has road. The bike has a grass trail. And the plane has sky. If you land on your element, you move up spot five spaces on the inside track. You, if you land on a question mark space, you se select a chance card. Follow the instructions. These can be good or bad. If you land on a shopping cart space, um, pick a shopping cart card. These are always good. Let me explain to you. If you just land on Joe, you are considered to be just visiting, and you can move normally next turn. If you land and go directly to jail, then you go and sit in jail. The only ways to get out are to use a get out of jail card, or roll a five on a six on your turn, or after four turns, automatically get out of jail. Here's a timer card. This card will keep track of how much time you have to answer a question. For example, I did a red space. So I look at my timer card. My card shows 15 seconds, so I get 15 seconds to answer the question. I will read a question card to Michael. What question should I pick? Look at Michael's colored disc. It is on the orange spot, so I should pick an, a level 3 card, which is also orange. Max reads the question and then says go, which starts the 15 second time allowed. If he answers the question correctly, he moves his colored disc up three spaces since he answered a level three question. 170 times three. Ready, set, go! Five hundred ten. Correct! Two more spaces to explain. The start space acts as an upgrade spot. Every time you pass the state, in this space, you get to move up one bar on your timer card. You also get to move your color disc up one level. Here is a portal space. When you land on one, you jump to the other portal right away. You do not get to pass the upgrade spot. We are going to start a new game now so you can see how to play. Put the color discs on number one. Put the playing pieces at start. Reset the timer cards. Each person will self-select one bar to be 15, one bar to be 10, and one bar to be 5. It is your turn. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I got it on the bike's element space. That means I don't do anything. Addie, it is your turn. One, two. 
I need to answer a question, and I have five seconds. Oh, oh. So you need scratch paper. Oh, oh no. Ooh, um, 90, 999. Oh, I got one. I land on the red space. That means I have 15 seconds to answer a question. Do I need scratch paper? No. Uh -huh. Use the words less than or greater than. 700 is blank. Seven. You have. Okay, ready? Go. Um, 700 is greater than seven. Good. So I get to move up two spaces. I'm at number three in the inner track. Game is very fun to play. He can practice a lot of math. You can adjust the difficulty by removing the time limits or by only playing the certain levels. So try a game and have fun with math. Woohoo!